G'day everyone, it's Ellie from Nudge Marketing here and this is a chatbot tip for Tuesday. In this quick video, what I'm going to do is walk you through the difference between a quick reply and a button that you can use within a flow in ManyChat. Now, I've just created a really quick flow here to show you the difference between the two. And before I go into preview it to show you how they react differently, we'll just bring it up a little bit so you can see the difference. So these buttons over here, that you can see that look like little bubbles. These are what I call, or what Minichat call, a quick reply button. And they sit away from any text boxes or videos or images that you may have. So they're not attached to anything at all. They sort of float. These three here are what are buttons. And as you can see, they're actually attached to the text above. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump into uh, the preview and I'll bring this up in our messenger to show you the difference between the two and explain when and why you should use one or the other. So we'll just open messenger. Okay, so here you can see I've just asked a really straightforward question. Hi, Ali, what's your biggest challenge in business right now? And I've got four different options to choose from here. And these are the quick reply bubbles. So getting enough leads, closing sales, customer service or technology overwhelm. So I can choose any one of these at all. And what you will notice is that all of the other quick reply buttons have actually disappeared. So I can't go back up and change my mind and choose something else. So quick reply bubbles are actually really good if you're wanting to do a quiz or you're wanting to find something out about people and you don't want them to be able to go back up and change their name. And a couple of other great things about them are is that Messenger actually sees a quick reply response as if the user has typed that information in as a comment. So in this regard here, Messenger actually thinks that I typed in technology overwhelm, which means you could trigger a keyword to fire off a sequence or another flow based on the information that you have in your quick reply buttons. Pretty cool, huh? So this is another quick reply button that we'll click here. And now what we've got, are we have got buttons. So the first thing that you may notice is I only have three choices here. So let's just click on one of these and see what happens next. So notice that the buttons don't actually go. They're still there, which means what I could actually do is go back and choose something else if I wanted to. Now, this can be really confusing on a couple of fronts. Number one, it could actually end up confusing your chatbot because it may end up having to try and deliver two or three different flows all at the same time and take them down different routes. But more importantly for you, it means that you can't pre-qualify or you can't find out correct information about people because they're going back and checking all of the different button options. So just a couple of reasons why you might use a button rather than a, a quick reply. It would be if you wanted people to go to a website page or something, or if you were offering a free training in a video, or if you had another flow or something else within ManyChat that you wanted to take them to. They would be all great examples of when you would use a button. Uh, you might want them to be able to book a call with you or to buy your product. Again, great things to have as a button because it stays there and it means they can go back and get it if they need to. Now, as I mentioned, there's only three buttons that you can um, add, which means we were unable to have the fourth choice there. And as you can see, and I've taken a picture of this just to show you that it's not something I've made up or a typo, you can actually have up to 11 quick reply bubbles. So it's a great way to be able to get information and give people lots and lots of opportunity to choose lots of different things. So if we just shoot back into how it looks in the back end, and what I will do is actually, we will just go in here, we'll continue to another step, and I'll just show you how easy it is to use the two. So this is a quick, reply. So you click on the quick reply button here, type text for button. And as you can see, as soon as you click off it, I can add another one here. 
So when I've typed the text, so if I click on this, it comes up with the different options that you've got here that you can do if the button is pressed. So you can send them to another message. You can perform various actions on this. You can go to another flow that you have already created. You can set conditions. You can do an A-B split test, or you can select an existing step that you actually have in this current flow that you're working on now. And if we added a button, I would have to click on the button here that's under the text box and button text here. And there's a couple of different things that you can do with the button text. And this is what I was explaining in relation to the things that are really beneficial for using buttons. One of them is that you can open a website. It doesn't necessarily have to be a website. This could actually be a ref URL that you've already created, or it could be going back into your ManyChat account or something else. And you can also put in a number for them to physically call. They can click on this and it will actually bring it up on their mobile and they can dial that number straight away. Everything else that you see here is the same as it would be for a quick reply button. Now, the reason I actually wanted to type this in here and show you what I was doing is you might have noticed that the quick reply button has been pushed down to the bottom. You can't put a quick reply button in between steps. So if I was to add an image or another text box, so let's click on image. What you will see is that it has actually put that image up above the quick reply button. So the quick reply button will always be the last step in one of your um, boxes that you have here. So there you go, guys. That's an explanation of the difference between a button and a quick reply button that you can use within ManyChat and the different ways and why you would use each of them differently. This is Ellie from Nudge Marketing, and I'll be back next Tuesday with another tip for you. Have a great week. See you soon. Bye-bye.